For this video, we're going to talk about number eight wide receiver and outside linebacker, Sean Siegel of Byram Hills High School, located right here on the screen. And this young man, 6'3", 185 pounds, long frame, good length, and I was really impressed with his ability to make contested catches and play through contact. Now, he did a majority of his damage on deep routes and deep concepts. A bunch of stop and goes, go routes, out and ups. I don't think he's the quickest guy laterally, but he has these long strides. And with that catch radius and length, it was tough to stop him on these deep routes. I mean, he became a big play receiver for this offense. Now, I also think he has the tools and the ability to be a real chain more, real reliable target on some of those short and inter intermediate routes as well. Now, things he can work on, I do think he can be a more consistent route runner. Now, there's many ways to cause deception for defensive backs when running routes. You can change your speed. You can give some stutter steps. When you do these double moves, you got to sell that first move hard before you get to the second move. And I do think he does a solid job of changing speeds, but he can work on those other deceptive maneuvers um, when running routes. But let's go over a couple plays I like. And she's located right here. And we're going to talk about him going deep. And you saw a lot of this, right? This is, this is nothing special. This is just a go route. And he's going to use his length and his size to win this route. All right? There he is right there. He's going to go deep. It's not really a hard sell. It's not a double move, but again, this is pretty good coverage. But you can you see the size compared to the defensive back, and you can see him go attack the ball and play through contact. Boom, right? You got a guy draped all over him. Look at the concentration. Look at him. Look the ball in, catch the ball through contact, and reel it in, right? Not an easy catch. He makes it look easy using that size, that length. And again, you can see those long strides he has. Yeah, I don't think he's the fast guy, but look at him use his body. Look at him use his length. Go up there and make this type of play. And you saw that a bunch. Let's go to another play. Here he is located right here. This one's a bit more of a stop and go. And again, this is not a hard stop. He's kind of just going to slow down to kind of deceive the defensive back. Um, I do wish that he would do a little bit harder of a sell right here. Again, you see that? You see him slow down, and now he's going to pick up his speed. All right, just to get this guy to hesitate just enough. But if you look when the ball is thrown again, defensive back recovers pretty well. This is good coverage. But again, look at the size, look at the catch radius, look at the length. Even when a guy's in his hip pocket, look at him go up there, look at the concentration. Through the contact, finding the ball, making this type of play. Again, that's a touchdown. Again, when the ball's in the air, he's in his hip pocket, right? He's pretty well covered. He's playing off coverage. He's reading the quarterback. And again, there's the fake. Pretty solid coverage. He's in his hip pocket. But look at him. Concentration, playing through contact. These are the type of plays you definitely see from him on tape. Now, a lot of deep routes. Here he is here. Again, this time it's going to be an out and up. And I like this out and up. This is a hard sell on the out and then going up. You're going to see it. Right? Watch him. Boom. Right? There's that hard sell. You can see his hips pointing to the sideline. Now he's going to shoot up. That's what causes that deception. The corner's reading this route. He's going to be stepping up, thinking this is going to be a deep out. And that's when he turns the corner. The quarterback's rolling out to him, buying himself time. And there's that separation. But I like this. Again, look at him looking it in, catching it with his hands, right? Not body catching, making this play, and then losing that size and strength to finish the deal right there. Again, he has these long strides. I don't think he's the quickest laterally, but he has these long strides that he can make up ground. But I like that hard sell on the out. Then he goes up, okay, creates that separation. Look at him look the ball in. I mean, people like to call these possession receivers, right? Again, just smooth hands, good body control, making this play. Let's go to the final play again. Here he is on the outside. This is what I like. Again, you could be what I call a chain mover on these third and mediums, short and intermediate routes. You could be a big, reliable target for your quarterback. And you're going to see a slant, right? They're playing off card. He's going to run a slant. And I like the, the nice little quick feet. Again, this is a big kid, right? 6'3", 185 pounds. On his third step, he's going to make that sharp slant cut. There he is, right? Look at that cut right there. He's not drifting towards the post up the field. He's making a sharp cut across, leaving that nice window for his quarterback. And with the linebacker not getting depth, it leaves a nice window for him, right? Moving the chains. Again, yeah, but I like it. Not a lot of wasted steps on this slant. Definitely would love to see more of this. This is good stuff.
Boom, on that third step, cut. Again, the angle that he took leaves a nice window for his quarterback moving the chains. I'm excited to see this young man this coming fall. 